Hello, in this video tutorial we will be discussing how to fit non-parametric distributions in Model Risk. This is a very unique facility available in Model Risk and as you'll see is very easy to use. I'd encourage you to first watch the video discussing the overview of all types of fitting in Model Risk and also the video on fitting parametric distributions because those will put what we're going to do here in context. Recall also that what we do with parametric distribution fitting is that we find the best distribution and the best set of parameters to fit a, a certain set of data. And if you have viewed the parametric distribution fitting video, you'll recall I've got a set of a thousand samples of data here. I also, we went through a number of uh, distribution fitting exercises and determined that this data could be most closely approximated with a gamma distribution. And we were able to do that both with allowing for parameter uncertainty and without parameter uncertainty. What we're going to do here is show how we might also fit the same set of data to a non-parametric distribution. In, in uh, model risk, a non-parametric distribution is called an OGIVE. So, and the OGIVE distribution is available under the distributions drop-down. So we'll select, select the OGIVE. There's, this is a similar window to the distribution fitting window, although it does have a few differences. In particular, we need to select a minimum and a maximum value for our data set. That's really so that model risk knows what the bounds are for the distribution that we're constructing. We can go ahead and select those as linked to the spreadsheet. Then we can select our data. and click OK. What we now see in this window is a, essentially a histogram of our data. And this is called an OGIVE distribution. Again, as in parametric distributions, we have the ability of using uncertainty about the sample or without uncertainty about the sample. And that's essentially to say, if we choose uncertainty, we're saying that this is a sample from a larger population, and we're acknowledging the fact that it's not an exact, perfect representation of the larger population. And so we're going to allow model risk to uh, allow put some uncertainty within the non-parametric distribution that we're going to use. What this is called is second order non-parametric distribution and is a completely unique feature available only in model risk, certainly in an Excel environment. So once we have selected our data, in this case we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, fit the distribution with uncertainty. We want to be able to put this into our spreadsheet somewhere. This is a little bit different than we saw with parametric distributions, but in order to do that, down here at the bottom we just click the simulation radio button. We click an output cell. Here we're going to show sampled values with uncertainty. And then click OK. And there we go. Now we can also select that cell, click the view function, deselect the uncertainty parameter, pick a new output location, click OK click OK again. And now what we have is two distributions that we can sample from every time we recalculate the spreadsheet. I'm hitting the F9 key, you can see that. Two non-parametric distributions, one with, with uncertainty, one without uncertainty. As with the parametric distribution, we can also have uh, objects are an available feature within model risk, excuse me, within the OGIVE distribution. So rather than just selecting the simulation button, we'll also select the object button. We'll pick a new output location. Click OK. Click OK again. We've now entered an object with uncertainty in our spreadsheet. And now from any location within the spreadsheet, we need only type in VOS simulate and refer to the cell with the object in it. And again, we can take random samples from the fitted non-parametric distribution with uncertainty. So that's kind of the uh, analog to 
what we can do with the parametric distribution, except for the fact that you'll notice there are no parameters. This, again, this distribution is completely defined by the data itself. Now, what's kind of an interesting um, exercise to go through would be to look at the outputs of running a simulation using these different types of fits. So earlier, in the name, in the interest of time, earlier I ran a simulation for 10,000 trials, and I tracked as outputs both the uh, gamma with and without distribution and the OGIVE, non-parametric, with and without uncertainty. And here we here we can superimpose the histograms of those outputs. So let's just look at the uh, two the two uh, distributions, one gamma, one OGI with and without uncertainty. So let's first look at the at the gamma with uncertainty. This green distribution, these are essentially the results of a 10,000 trial simulation. And what you can see is it's a relatively smooth output. It does approximate the shape of a gamma uh, using the best fit uh, parameters that we saw earlier. And so this is as it makes sense, because again, this is a parametric distribution that we're using to try to closely estimate our data. Let's now just look at the OGIVE. Now recall the OGIVE is actually driven only by the data itself. And what we can see is in general it has kind of the same shape, but what's also interesting is you can see that it's, it's a bit jagged. So what we've done is we've acknowledged that our data may actually not have that smooth shape similar to a gamma distribution, and it may have these spikes in the histogram or in the distribution itself. And what we've done is actually preserved that along with understanding that even the data itself may have some uncertainty in it as a representative of the underlying population. And so we can superimpose the two one on top of the other. Here the gamma is on the front. And we can definitely see that while similar, they're not exactly the same. We can also see the same thing if we were not using uncertainty. Here is our gamma distribution, very smooth. And here is our OGIVE without uncertainty. Again, we see these spikes. So when you're thinking about fitting distributions in model risk, there are a number of things to consider, a, a lot of options. Uh, we always recommend that you use uncertainty, whether you're using a parametric distribution or not. There is often no reason not to use a non-parametric distribution. In fact, I think in general you might want to use a non-parametric distribution if you have a data set about which you know nothing in terms of the underlying population that has generated it. By using then the data itself, you're making no assumptions regarding uh, forcing it into a particular parametric distribution as, uh, for instance, as the gamma. However, there may be some models where uh, it's either accepted industry practice or by experience or for some other reason you have um, extra information that tells you, in fact, yes, this data comes from a population that very closely follows a particular parametric distribution. And in that case, you may be more interested in using some of the various parametric distribution fitting options. Hope you found all of this interesting. Hope you uh, uh, are interested in learning more about model risk. And if that's the case, I'd encourage you to download a trial version, if you've not already, from our website, www.vosesoftware.com. The Vos uh, software website also has an online version of the model risk help file, which is essentially a risk analysis textbook in soft copy version, over, over 500 topics, and that might be of interest as well. You may also like to contact our sister company and main reseller, Vos Consulting, at these numbers here, or via their website, www.vosconsulting.com, for any additional information or questions.